Sword Quest, Earth World, Atari 2600, on TikTok, and Original we're Artwork, more page 258 and 259, the Atari 26 page article, page 260, part 1. Amazing fantasy artwork, including some illustrations of four different treasures you could win by solving the mysteries of the four new cartridges. Stay tuned on Video Gamers Oasis in just a few minutes. Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis speaking off, co off camera again on a Sunday afternoon, taking a break from the camera just to focus on these amazing artwork that we're learning about in the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. If you've been following my uh, videos so far, we learned about page 258 from the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. We learned about Sword Quest Earthworld for the Atari 2600. We learned about the uh, amazing uh, artwork and the gameplay. Really nice fantasy artwork. As you can see here, we we uh, discussed the Minotaur, the two heroes, the shady pirate-like guy in the background, the two rings. Now we're going to go to the next page and, and, and the next page after that. I've well, I'm well rested and I'm ready to continue on our journey into this uh, sword quest adventure. All right, here we have the next page, 259, and we have a description for this illustration. I'm just going to zoom in on my copy of the page, and I'm going to read it for you. The description reads, for this illustration, Original artwork for the cover of Atari Age magazine, promoting the kickoff of the Sword Quest competition. The art was created by George Perez, the artist on best-selling DC Comics titles like The Teen Titans and Crisis on Infinite Earths. He also penciled each of the Sword Quest's comic books. Artist George Perez. I haven't seen his artist artwork before. He's really, really good. You can see this is a really nice uh, fantasy, almost like a Dungeons and Dragons illustration. We see the, the appears to be a male hero on the left, carrying a lantern in his right hand, and on the right side there is a young, beautiful. Curvy female, just just observing, and she's reaching. They're both reaching out. Uh, the man with his left arm and the woman with her right arm. They're reaching out for the floating sword that's above, like a flame, a magic flame, on a stone torch in the center of the room. Behind them, there are two cloaked figures. The man has has a cloaked figure with a hood on and a necklace. Appears to be a male, masculine kind of uh, cloaked wraith being. And on the right side, the lady, behind the lady, there is a cloaked wraith hooded being. And the, just observing, the, la the lady on the right, the hooded figure on the right, has breasts or a bulging chest. So it appears to be a feminine wraith being with a hood on and behind those two shadowy characters is a what appears to be like a coliseum wall with pillars i think this takes place in a dungeon this fantasy story it's it's a dungeon illustration so that's basically that illustration there it's very nice still very nice fantasy adventure it really takes you to another world just by looking at it a sword that it's floating above the torch next we have the Sword Quest. Uh, you can win fabulous prizes by solving the mysteries of four new cartridges. It's a two columns wide, and there's a lot of illustrations to look at. We may have to break this up into multiple videos, depending on our time frame. But this is on page 200 and, I believe, 260. So we'll begin by reading the first paragraph, and then we'll look at the illustrations. In October, Atari presents the Earth World Game Program cartridge, launching the most exciting real-life treasure hunt of our time, the Sword Quest Cycle. There will be four new Sword Quest games in all, each part of the total Sword Quest adventure story. This Continuing fantasy tale of treacherous tyrants and daring deeds is told in the special DC comic books packed with the cartridges and played out in the games themselves. 
But the sword quest challenges more than on-screen action. By finding clues hidden in each cartridge and comic book combination, players can win prizes worth thousands of dollars. The quest begins with Earthworld, which holds the key to winning a spectacular 18-carat solid gold talisman studded with 12 diamonds and 12 other precious stones. A prize produced at a cost of $25,000. Next comes Fireworld in early 1983. The winner of the Fire World contest walks off with a chalice, a gorgeous goblet of platinum and gold, glistening with rubies, sapphires, diamonds, and pearls. Another $25,000 prize. Later, in 1983, there is Water World, with a prize truly fit for a king. A Next column, to the right, $25,000 golden crown, encrusted with diamonds, rubies, sapphires, green tourmalines, I think that's pronounced right that correctly, I think, and aquamarines. Finally comes Air World, uncovering its secrets will win the fourth $25,000 prize for some lucky player. It's a modern day version of the mythical philosopher's stone encased in an 18 carat gold box studded with emeralds, rubies, diamonds, and citrines. And when the sword quest cycle is complete, it will be time for the fifth and final challenge of Sword Quest. The answer, which will earn the grand prize winner, an incredible jewel-encrusted sword with 18 karat gold handle and gleaming silver blade, blazing with diamonds, emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. A $50,000 sword. What kind of secrets are hidden in the games? No one is saying, but Jewel Savadalas, Atari's director of marketing software, says when someone finds the clues, they'll know it. All the contest details will be enclosed in the cartridge boxes, she explains. But I can tell you that we're going to recognize everyone who finds at least a single valid clue. Find more. You'll receive a greater level of recognition. But you'll have to find all five valid clues to be eligible to win the major prize for each cartridge. And that fifth valid clue is a real challenge. And the description for this page reads a two-page article from the September-October 1982 issue of Atari Age magazine promoting the Sword Quest competition. We're going to take a quick break, folks, and we're going to look further or look closer up images of each of these treasures in just a few minutes in the next video. So make sure to stay subscribed to my TikTok and my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis. Send some likes, send some love if you feel inclined, and we'll continue in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.